Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the Axial Evolution LED headlights with daytime running lights. But first we have to get our old headlights out, so let's go ahead and do that first. So in order to get our old headlights out, we have to go ahead and lift up the hood and then pop off our grill. So you have six pop clips on the top that you're going to remove to free up the grill and then you have to pull it out of the frame. Just make sure that you're being careful of the wiring harness for the turn signals because you don't want them getting damaged in the meantime. These pop clips are pretty simple. Just pop the top up and they come out pretty easy. You can use a flathead. Just be careful, you don't want to scratch your grill. Or you can use a trim removal tool. I feel like this is better just because it's a little bit more precise. Now we can go ahead and actually remove the grill. And like I said, you just want to be careful of that wiring harness as well as your temperature sensor right in the front here. Then we can go ahead and disconnect these. Now we can go ahead and uninstall our stock headlight. You want to take off the silver trim that's going to be holding in the headlight. You're going to use a T15 Torx bit to get out these four bolts. Now we will be reinstalling our new headlights with the existing hardware, so just make sure you keep that nearby. Now I would like to mention now that we're on the last bolt, this silver trim piece is going to be holding in your headlight. So you want to make sure that you have a handle on your headlight to make sure it doesn't fall out. Now you can go ahead and uninstall, being careful of the wiring harness behind there. With this new LED, you're going to get a black housing, which is going to give you that stealthy look. And then you have the LEDs that are going to be a lot brighter and produce a lot more light than your stock halogen bulb. The other thing that you're also not getting with your stock bulb is a daytime running light. This is going to have a half of halo on the top, which is going to act as your daytime running light when you wire those in. And it's going to boost your appearance just that much more. A big difference between the stock housing and this new housing is the fact that these are sealed and the stock housing is not. So you can go ahead and take a look. These will have a bulb that inserts the housing and these will be completely sealed. These are going to be IP67 rated, so you're not going to have to worry about any dust or any condensation forming inside the lens and hurting the LED over time. I would like to mention that this Torx right here is going to be for adjusting your headlights up and down. You don't have to mess with that unless you are adjusting your headlights for real, but it is going to be the same T15 Torx fit if you do have to go ahead and adjust your headlights. And just like I said before, keep a handle on your headlight so it does not fall out and you don't damage your wiring harness. So once the stock headlights are out, we can go ahead and install our new LEDs. What's also in the box is an EMC harness. This is going to prevent your lights from flickering or hyper flashing because of the new lower resistance LEDs. You also get an adapter harness for the H4 to H13 conversion. So if you're not familiar, the TJ has an H4 headlight and the JK has an H13. This headlight adapter is going to convert the H4 over to an H13. So if you have a TJ, you don't need to use this, but if you have a JK, you will. So you're just going to attach this here. And then your EMC onto your headlight. So as well as getting the harnesses, you're also going to have this free wire just hanging out here. This is going to be for your halo. So you can wire this to really whatever you like. If you want to have it as your daytime running light, you can wire it to your parking light that will be located in your turn signal harness. So that's what we're going to do for our install, but really you can do whatever you like. You can rest your headlight on your bumper. Just be careful, don't scratch the lens. 
Go ahead and plug in your connector. Once it's in, you should hear it clip. Then you can tuck your wiring in the back here. You're gonna have enough space to fit it in. So I would like to mention now that we're at this step that these headlights will only be compatible with JKs that have stock halogen headlights. If you do have the LED package from the factory, this grill surround will not be able to accept an LED light like this. If you were to want an LED light and to switch it up, you will have to get an adapter for that. So while you're putting the wiring through the grill, you want to make sure that if you are running this to the parking lights, that you tuck this in between here so you can access it on your turn signal wiring harness. Also, making sure that your halo is on top. After that's in place and you have your halo wire tucked through, you can go ahead and take your headlights around. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and just connect all of these adapters. And like I said, just gently rest it there. You don't want to scratch your brand new LED. So the design of these I really like, but it all comes down to personal preference and you have a lot of options on the page. but. I mean, overall, with LED lighting, you really are just looking for that cleaner and brighter and more uniform light, and that's what you're gonna get out of these. So if that's what you want, that's what you're getting. Not only is it gonna be a lot cleaner and a lot brighter, which we will definitely show you in a minute, these are gonna be a lot more aesthetically pleasing. They're gonna look a lot better than the satellite dish that you had on there before. And not only are these going to perform a lot better with their lighting and they're not they're going to look a lot better aesthetically, but they're going to be a lot stronger. These have a polycarbonate lens, so on the trail these are going to be able to take a hit and they're not going to break like the stock ones would. Now because these are a lot different than the factory halogen bulb, you may want to go ahead and adjust them uh, just so you're not blinding oncoming traffic. And like I said before, it's just going to be the Torx bolt on the outer edge of the headlight. After you have your new headlights installed and you have your halos running into wherever you want them to have them powered, we can go ahead and put our grill back on. Be careful of your air temperature sensor. It's going to be a wire that's connected at the front. Just got to give it a little bit and it'll pop right in. You can grab your pop lips and go ahead and clip those back in. So after the hood's closed and the grill's on, you can definitely tell that these are a huge upgrade from your stock factory halogen bulbs. These are definitely going to be a big refresh, and you're getting an upgraded LED with this. A more common LED, and what you see in most headlights, is a Cree LED, and that's going to disperse light outwards, but this in here is going to be an Osram LED. So the Osram LED is going to be this fisheye design here, and it's going to help project your lighting farther down the road. So that's it for our review and install. For more videos like this, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.